Hi and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner and today I'm working on the administration area for codingwithjesse.com. So I've already set up an index file that's loading in a single JavaScript file and what I've started to do is install Webpack and what I want it to, what I want Webpack to do is build all my JavaScript code and put it in this admin.bundle.js. I also want to use Webpack Hot Reloader during development to uh, pull this in so that I can make changes and it'll it'll rebuild it automatically without me having to run a command line or something to rebuild the user interface. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is let's open a new tab. I'm going to try running Webpack, see what it does. So, cannot find file directory admin index. Oh, that's because I changed that. So. Set a source JS. My context is going to be uh, let's just call it source, and then this will be admin JS index. Sound good? Let's try that. So now it says cannot find admin JS index. Uh, it should be able to source admin JS index. So maybe the context isn't. Oh, I see it here. So coding with Jesse.com source there's a slash missing so let's add the slash here try that and that works so it created in min bundle.js should have put that in build um my sublime on linux isn't uh oh that's not the problem so where is that file uh they put it somewhere find uh, i name admin.bundle.js no it didn't where did it put it? that's very weird it said it made it oh you know what it was? I'm probably missing the slash here too I don't know where it put it but it's made it somewhere anyway let's run that again and now oh there it is great so admin bundle it does its uh, crazy header stuff and then here's my hello world so, I want Webpack Hot Reloader. I need to look up how to do that because, again, I am not super good at memorizing obscure uh, instructions on how to do this kind of stuff. So, uh, I don't need to read all about it, but I do need... Let's just go to the... I guess it's on here. Hot Module Replacement. Uh, I guess that's how to do it in my code. That's not exactly what I want. I want to know how to run, I guess, dev server. That's what they call it. Okay, here's how to do the Webpack dev server. So you, it's a command line that you run, and you tell it where to serve the code from, I guess. Um, do I have it installed already? Let's find it. So I'll just paste that in. No. So I'm going to need to do npm install dash g for global webpack dev server. So I've already done this with webpack. Uh, I skipped that in the last video because I already had it installed, but you may may have gotten stuck on that. I don't know. Okay, so I'll give that a minute. And so what else do I need to do here? Uh, they have automatic refresh, which I'm going to want. Iframe mode, probably don't need that. Uh, Anywho, I want this hot module replacement. So I need to do dash dash hot on the command line and dash dash inline is probably what I need, but I forget. So uh, I'm gonna have this long command line and so I'm gonna put that, is that still installing? Okay, so I'm gonna put the command line in my package.json scripts so I don't have to memorize it. I'm gonna call it dev and it's gonna probably do um, webpack dev. You know what, I, I, I think I prefer to install. I prefer to have it local, just in case I have different versions going on. I know I've been, I'm working on installing it globally, but that's okay, I'll still install it locally. So save. Is it gonna have cached versions of everything or is it gonna start all over, I don't know. So I wanna call it webpack dev server they said I need inline hot and some other stuff. Um, 
what else was it? Context or something? Well, we'll find out. Let's just start with the inline hot reload. Oh, I gotta start over. Because it overwrote my package JSON to put webpack dev server in it, which I will accept. So let's start over. Dev, okay, node modules, dot bin, webpack dev server, inline hot. Let's see if that does anything. So to run that script, I can type npm run dev. And it fails, which is not super surprising. Can I find module webpack? OK, let's install webpack locally, too. Uh, install webpack, save. Give that a minute. And the other thing I need to do is figure out, so in my admin, I'm loading in this JS index.js. What I'm going to actually need to do is load in that bundle file. Now, there's a tricky thing. I haven't figured out a nice way to do it, but in development, I want to load in from this uh, Webpack dev server, which will be running on a port, port 8080 or something. And in production, I want it to actually load admin.bundle.js. So how can I do both? Well, what I'll do is have it load. I'm going to make admin.bundle.js inside the JS folder. Uh, actually, let's not even have it inside a JS folder. Just inside admin. So I'm going to make a file there that will do a document write to load, to add the script tag to load it from my. Uh, webpack dev server. So it'll be like localhost 8080 slash uh, build slash admin.bundle.js or something like that. We'll have to figure out how to do that exactly. And then, so I want admin.bundle.js in production to go into an admin folder. So let's, I have a build, so let's do build slash admin. I'll delete this and we'll try running webpack again which is now installed. So that is now inside there. OK, so that is pretty much what I want. <sighs> Let's take a step back, run dev, which will start the Webpack dev server, which is working. Looks like it's working. There's a ton of stuff in it from my Hello World, but that's OK. And what else? It's running on 8080. So let's see what it looks like on 8080. So there's my build admin bundle. And so I guess that is the URL I want to use in my document.write uh, here. So I'll paste that in. Did I get that right? No, it's close, but not exact. OK. And then in my admin, I'm not going to, oh no, that's right. So in production, this will pull in the build file. In development, it's going to do that document right. So let's see if that works. It says hello world, which is encouraging. So let's look at the code. Am I, it loads that, which loads that. So I, I somehow, whoop. So somehow I got that right on the first try, which is crazy. Uh, let's look at the network. So let's see what actually happens. Make sure. So it loads admin bundle, which then loads. So you see it's from 4321. So that's my, that contains the document right. And then that loads this one, which contains the built file. So now the ultimate test is if I change the text in Hello World, is it going to magically refresh? and have the new code. Uh, not this one, but this one. So, hello everybody. Save that. Switch back. I didn't control R. Is it gonna magically? No, it's not. But if I refresh, hello world. Okay, so it's not 100% working. Let's figure out why. Okay, I think I figured it out. It seems that if I take out the admin slash here, the admin.bundles just being served from the root. So I should be able to 
uh, just point this at in my document dot right. I don't need the dead back web server. All I need is but admin dot bundle dot js. I'll take that part out. And let's see if that makes a difference. So if I refresh here. Hello, that works. So now if I change this back to hello world and save and go back, I didn't have to refresh. It refreshed itself with the new code. So that is exactly what I want. So I think that's working now. And uh, my next video, I'm going to take this out. I'll leave it in. So the next video, OK. Next video, I'm going to uh, start working on the user interface. Uh, to be able to edit posts, add new posts, and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.